good morning or good afternoon artists thank you guys so much for tuning in to the video for this week this week we're learning about the artist Lois may Lujo. hopefully you've already looked at the youtube video um, link that's on Schoology that talks a little bit more about Lois May Lou Jones. Um, we're going to create our own mask inspired by her. Here is an example of her artwork. This art piece is called Moon Mask. It was made in 1971. And we're going to try our best to make our own little moon mask, okay? So, what you will need is a piece of paper, crayons, a black marker if you have it, and a ruler if you have it, okay? You need, so I'll tell you one more time. You need a white piece of paper. If you have a black marker, that'd be great. A pencil, ruler, and some crayons. Okay guys, so let's get started. So the first thing that we have to do is we're gonna fold our paper into a hot dog or a hamburger, sorry. Fold it into a hamburger. You don't need to crease it too hard. And then we're going to fold it one more time. And we're going to use, we're going to open it back up. And we're going to use our lines, our little crease marks, to help us measure. So, I also have a scratch piece of paper here. You guys can have a scratch piece of paper that will help you. Um, practice drawing our lines okay so the first thing we want to do is we're going to draw the head of our moon mass so we want to make an arc so an arc is a almost like a half half circle it's the top of a circle so you make an arc and going around almost like you're going to make a circle that's called an arc so let's practice i'm just going to go Round. You see I messed up a little bit, that's okay. I'm just keep trying. That's pretty neat. Now the other shape that we're gonna make is gonna be the bottom. We're going, her mask kinda is sharp, so it's almost like a V. So we're gonna practice. So it kinda goes down. It's a little bit sharp, just like that. So let's practice a little bit more. And remember our mask is kind of supposed to connect now this is just our practice sheet if you don't have two pieces of paper don't do it. or you can use the back okay for your final i suggest having two pieces of paper so you have one to practice your shapes and then your final one so let's switch over to our final because we did a good job at practicing our shape so remember the first thing we have to do is we're going to make up part are you guys ready all right, so I'm gonna go up and around. Not too bad. Now, don't forget, we're gonna do our bottom. So try to connect it around and then point. It helps if you stop right at that crease right there. So I'm gonna go around back to the other side and then boom, you did a good job. Now, what's in the middle of your face? I hope you said a no. Now we're going to use our test paper to practice our nails. So for our nails, we're going to use two, make two triangles. And a triangle has three sides. So we want our nose to be a little long. So I'm going to make a long line in the middle. And then I'm going to do a short diagonal line. And I'm going to do a line that connects this one to that one. Okay, you see I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. This is our practice. I'm gonna do that one more time. A line going up, and a line going up. Not bad, now let's give it a try on our real paper. Are we ready? Woo. All right, so I'm gonna make a long line. Then I'm gonna go out, short diagonal line, then connect these two lines. Here, then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Awesome! So we have our nose. Next, we're gonna do some eyes. Do you guys know what a diamond is? 
How many sides does a diamond have? If you said four, that is correct. So we're gonna do some diamonds. So I'm gonna do a diagonal here, go to the side, up, and back down. I'm gonna go ahead and fill my in with my black marker. And then I'm gonna do another one over here. Now remember, this is my practice sheet. I'm gonna fill it in. See, I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. And you want your diamonds to be kind of the same size as you can. So let's move on over. And they don't have to be close. Let's move them out just a little bit, okay? And they don't have to be too big. About there. And I'm gonna do another one. And then I'm gonna color them in. Let's go ahead and fill them in. We want them to be dark. Good job. Awesome. So now, remember the, sh the arc shape that we made? We're gonna do two different types of arcs. So we're gonna do an arc from the top of our nose. We're gonna do it over to the side of our mask. This is a little tricky, but I know you guys can do it. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And that's gonna be like the top of our mask. And then we're gonna do from the bottom part of our nose out. Okay? Or you can do your line a little bit closer to your eye. I don't like it down there. Or you can do double lines. You can add some more lines if you want. I think that looks pretty cool, don't you? All right, let's go. So on my real one, I'm gonna go from the very top of my nose and I'm gonna do that a small arc to the side, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Now, I really liked how we did the double. So I'm gonna do an arc from the corner of the nose to the side of the mask. And this is an under arc, it's different. It goes underneath. And do it there. And then I'm gonna add two more arcs, okay? So I'm gonna do one here. I'm gonna do one here. I'm gonna do one here. And one here. Ooh, what do we think? Let's add another arc here. We have a lot of space there. So let's go just like that. Ooh, how does your mask look? I like this one more than that. Okay, now, next we need to do our mouth. Now we're gonna practice our mouth. So I'm going to make a, almost like a squish circle. So I'm going to make, I'm gonna make a line and around it, and then curve it. What do you guys think? Can you make that shape? And then I'm gonna do it one more time. Oh wow. And then that's what my mouth is gonna be, and I'm gonna color it in. So I did mess up a little bit here. So I can practice making my shape a little bit more. If you guys mess up, you can use your extra paper to help you. Okay. Now let's move for a big one. Or if it's easier, you guys can do a circle mouth, okay? And then fill the inside in and then do a circle, okay? All right, let's give it a try. So I'm gonna try, excuse me, this squish mouth. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna go across, I'm gonna do a mouth. That one's kind of big, so I'm gonna draw one inside. Not too bad. And then I'm gonna color the inside one. So 
awesome. Guess what? We're done drawing our mask. So one of the things Miss Johnson really likes is a background. So now we're going to add a background. So here I did some diagonals going across. You guys can do that. I'm gonna show you a trick. You can use a ruler or you can use your test paper to help you make lines. So I'm gonna use my test paper and I'm going to put my paper here and I'm gonna draw a line on the edge and boom, I have a straight line. So I'm going to do that all the way down. You guys can make yours something, some thick. You guys can make a pattern in your background if you want. That's up to you, okay? But make sure you don't draw your line on your mask, okay? So you want to go around it. Watch this. You see how I didn't draw my line on my mask? Then I'm gonna try again over here. I'm gonna make this one kind of big. It doesn't have to be even. And if you mess up, you can always make a crazy shape, right? Because it's just a background. And if you remember, in Lois Mayu's art, she made a lot of patterns in her background. So you can always add some different shapes to your background and some different lines. It is okay. This is I'm just using the edge of my paper to make straight lines. It's called a straight edge. If you don't want to do diagonals and you just want to do patterns, you can. Want to do some different shapes? You can do that too. That messed up a little bit, so I'm going to make a shape. See? Easy breezy. So since I did that, I'm going to add a little bit more crazy shapes in there. You guys don't have to do it, but it's always fun. Let's look at her artwork and see how she has all these crazy shapes and lines and faces. So we can do, we can practice making our arcs again in one of our diagonal lines. Okay, so now we're going to do, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do some circles. What's your favorite shape? <laughs> Mine is a triangle. So I'm going to put lines in between my circles. Because only because I see she did that right here. All right. So now we're gonna do the best part, and that's color. So take your, I'm gonna be using crayons. You guys can use colored markers if you have it. If you have paint, you can even use paint. Whatever you have, I'm gonna use, but you know you want a lot of colors. Or, you see she only used one, two, three, four, five colors in this one. So you can choose to use five colors, or you can use all of your colors, okay? So I really like colors, so I'm gonna use all of my color, and I'm just going to pick whatever color I want. So I'm gonna do everything a different color. And you guys can watch me color. Um, I want you guys to color yours as well, okay? All right, let's get started. Remember, you want to try to color inside of your lines. Uh 
Um, I did not color inside my lock. So I will use a darker color. That's a trick. <laughs> Okay, I finished my mask. So now I'm gonna do my background. Now remember that if you do not want to or you don't have time, you do not have to do the patterns in the background. You guys can just do um, one solid color in your background or you can create your own shapes. Okay, I want you to have fun with your background. It does not have to look like mine, um, but I do want you to have a background. There needs to be some sort of color or something in your background, okay? All right. I'm gonna color mine in now.
Okay, so I have finished my mask and yay. So here's my little advanced one with some more lines and shapes in it. And here is a simple one that you guys can do, or you can just do one full background. Um, I do want to remind you that even if you're in the live section or you watch the YouTube video, you still have to submit your assignment to Schoology. Make sure you take a picture of your assignment and upload it to Schoology so you can receive credit. If you do not do that, you will not receive credit. Um, make sure that even if you're on site, excuse me, online or even on the live session, you have to submit your exit ticket. Your exit ticket is a very quick yes or no question. It's just for attendance only. It is not a grade. Make sure that you fill that out. If you do not do that, you will be marked absent. Okay? All right. So thank you guys so much. I cannot wait to see what you guys created. And I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.